Hey everybody and welcome back again to Got Next Gaming in the next episode, the next installment of Road to the Show with my player Alfred Russo. Uh, we're going to jump right into the action here. I was itching after the last video to put some stuff up quick because I don't want to stay relevant here and keep you guys entertained with some uh, videos right away because uh, like I said I do have a full time job and it's hard to do this stuff. So whenever I have the opportunity I try to. Uh, we see Al jump in right away here with the action as we quickly get into it. Uh, he's batting 296 so far in the young season um, with the two home runs and 11 RBIs. Those are major league numbers, I think, right? Uh, we have two outs here in the top of the first with an 0-1 count. And he's going to swing it the way. That one is going to sky that right in the middle of the infield. And the third base will come over and wave everybody off. Not that there was anybody there. Uh, and get the out. We'll see Al in the second at bat where he's got two outs with two on. Second and third, and he's got a 2-0 count here, and he's going to take one for a strike right down the middle. I was going to watch that fastball, try to gauge it and see what it looks like so he can take the next one. And Nope, just going to go a little bit early on the slider there and foul that one back. There's one nothing here in the top of the third. I was going to wait for that pitcher to deal. And he's going to foul that one off again as he's way early on the, on the curveball. I was practically in the dirt. And he'll get a base hit right up the middle to center field. Those two runs will come around to score. And that's a base hit with two RBIs, folks. And 34 points for training as they're calling out a great at-bat. Made the pitch work and drove in two runs. Very next batter, we're going to get a bloop single to right field. Uh, Al was going with a hit, so he'll be able to get around second and into third with the slide as the uh, throw is a little bit offline there. So great base running there as he's able to chug on into third, and the manager's going to come out and talk to the pitcher a little bit. Uh, he doesn't come around the score, so we're going into Al's next to bat here as he holds up the ump to begin the bat. And we have one out with nobody on here in the top of the fifth, and we are winning this game 4 to nothing right now. There's a slider up and in for a ball. We have to wait for the, D, the pitcher to deal. And there's a slider in side for a strike as it's right there at about the belt. Looking good. We can see the replay there. I love these uh, in-between pitch replays. Uh, it's pretty cool that they add that in there as a little element to the game. And we're going to go here with the 1-1. And he's going to take a swing at that. He's going to ground it right to second. Routine over to first. And he'll be out with that one. And we're going to Al's next at bat here. And we're in the... Top of the seventh, scores now 4-1, one, one out with nobody on. That batting dynamic is still in a veteran, steadily going up. And he's going to take one right down the middle there for a strike. And as of late, we got to get Al going here with his, uh, with his batting and hitting. It seems to be a little consistent lately. Uh, I haven't been feeling very comfortable here with the bat, getting my timing down and whatnot. That one's going to be way down there, almost in the dirt for a ball. I'll go one and one on the count. we got to get those power numbers up for him. Uh, he is a power hitter. Pitcher will deal, and we'll swing right over the top of that one. Change up uh, low would have been a ball. Uh, he swings at it. It's uh, one and two, and that's what I talk about, getting comfortable. I'm trying to be comfortable there, but... Uh, Sometimes some of those pitches just drop out from one to you. And then he'll get the bat on that one. I was just a little outside. Had to reach a little bit for it. And, uh, it'll go into foul territory, but the right fielder will get under it. Catch that one for an out. We do get uh, the okay at bat with four points for letting the pitcher work a little bit. And here's a little grounder to second. Had to reach for that one. Uh, thrown on to first for the out. That'll be the end of the game there. The uh, Blue Wahoos take the victory. You can see them celebrating and enjoying that one. And a little high fives and fist pumps all around for everybody. Um, and they're going to do a little uh, body bump there. And they're outfield, all the outfielders getting together as they celebrate. High fives. And there's the uh, losing team. They're disgusted with their loss. And that's understandable. They're a pretty solid team. And uh, we beat them handily with that. And we're going to do the fifth. Fist pumps all the way around as we can try to congratulate each other for that win. Luahu's win this one 4-1 to one as they take that victory from a 
very solid team. And we're going to have to get Alfred Russo going here uh, eventually. He is, uh, like I said, being a little inconsistent with the hitting as of late. Still able to drive in those runs. We'll see the player of the game from the Blue Wahoos, who was Daniel Chavez, and uh, deservedly so, as he only gave up the one run, and I believe it was in a complete game effort here. Um, yep, complete game effort. There's that box score of 4-1. to And <clears throat> you see Al with the 1-4 to four with two RBIs on that. But that's it for this episode, folks. I'm going to try to bring in the next one as soon as I can. I want to thank you for your support. Hit the like button. Please subscribe. And uh, I will see you next time.